Hello and welcome to the video. It is February 28th, so that marks the end of February, which is also the end of a group build. And that group build is the small scale group build in the smallest month of the year, which is hosted by Brian over at BG Model Workshop and Sean over at the Scale Model Car Guy channel. So I want to thank those guys for putting this one on. Kind of got me out of the norm of the 124th, 125th scale kits. So I normally wouldn't venture outside of that, but I wanted to support these guys in their group build. So I figured, what the heck, let's give her a go. And the kit of choice that I had was the Ravel 1956 Cadillac Eldorado. This kit was originally tooled up in 1955 and comes from a very old school way of molding parts or molding kits in multi-piece bodies. And I believe this one had seven or eight different parts to its body that it had to be assembled but kind of turns into a really nice kit pretty detailed for what it is so uh with that let's take a look all right here we are kind of a throwback to the autorama on the turntable pretty cool look for a 1956 cadillac el dorado convertible or a brits very cool looking car kind of a classic look with the two figures in front they do come along with the kit so there's a nice little bonus with this kit again like i said this is a multi-piece body and those parts were each side the tops of both fenders uh the upper trunk lid area and then panel below the deck lid as well as the dash and firewall and of course the hood so that was pretty intimidating and pretty daunting when getting into the kit but after some time cleaning up the flash and seeing all the locator marks and doing a lot of test fitting it comes together pretty well and you only end up with a couple of seams and the one seam is right under here where that top of that fender goes on and then, of course, along the tops of each side, or along the tops of both fins, there is a seam that needs to get filled. But both pretty, pretty simple to do. Uh, let's move on to the color. I guess that's kind of an obvious thing here. Uh, when thinking about a color for this kit, I was thinking about my stash. And this color absolutely jumped out to me. And that color is a burgundy purple metal flake, a tester's enamel spray can. And this can is super old. I got it on clearance probably 25 years ago. So uh, it's been uh, waiting for something to be put on. So this can of paint is probably as old as this kit is. This kit is from 96. So that's uh, kind of interesting, but for whatever reason, this color had to go on and I went to go decan it to run it through my airbrush and it came out all gold metal flake. So that kind of bummed me out. But luckily I had a second can and as you can see that one came out just fine. Like I said I sprayed it with my airbrush. There's no other clear, no polishing or anything done to it. Just sprayed it out and then cleaned up some fingerprints before the video. That's all I done. And I think it looks pretty good on there. Pretty nice for a little 30 second scale car. Uh, let's, I guess we can talk about chrome. There's plenty of it on here to talk about. I did a few different uh, varieties. The windshield, the hubcaps or wheel covers, and the headlights were all done with Rust-Oleum's Bright Coat Chrome. Uh, would be like this can here uh, if you guys need a part number there it is it gives it a nice it's not exactly chrome but it's a kind of a bright polish gives it a good reflection without being a mirror finish but I use those in places that I wanted a little bit more kind of durability from handling or touching as it's much more durable than any other chromes other than like a bare metal foil Speaking of bare metal foil, the chrome down the side and the little spears in the back on the side and upper door area is all done in bare metal foil. 
and see the hood ornaments and the deck lid ornamentation is just the normal kit chrome parts and then the bumpers they were done with Despays marker refill uh, it's kind of like a just like a Molotow type deal this is chrome silver refill for markers but I've tried this on a couple of kits and I'm pretty impressed with it and I think it's gonna be my go-to and that's kind of a uh, exciting chrome is kind of one of those never-ending uh, chases but both of those bumpers are done in that marker refill and I think they turned out really well gives it a really good look in my opinion uh, kind of the trick is to I do one kind of light coat to get just the semi coverage and then let that dry for just a couple minutes and come back and kind of do a flood coat to get it all to kind of smooth out and then just let it dry very naturally in kind of a cooler environment like I just set it off in the basement which is probably like 50 degrees 55 degrees and then just let it sit there for three four days and it becomes pretty durable for what it is I mean you can't really rub on it but touching it won't dull it up like a lot of the, the Molotows or the Alclads where you get it rubbing off and I think it gives it a much lighter or brighter look than the L clads so I'm super excited about that I've done it on a couple kits now and been happy with the results so that's an option out there for you guys uh, what else can we talk about on the outside I guess we can talk about the wheels the wheels were or tires actually they're all plastic I did black primer and then I did used a template with a bunch of circles on it and sprayed my white walls and then touched out that outer rim with the Tamiya rubber black to finish those off and uh, I guess we can stop it and check out the rest of this the figures aren't glued in so they might fall but the interior I did with a pearl white with some gold accents and I did do a kind of a gold carpet you can see it in there and that is the embossing powder let me pull these guys out and we will take a closer look inside if we don't break anything though don't know what he's stuck on there he goes take a look there at the the dash and there you can see the carpet a little better it's got a pretty pretty nice looking dash if I can get in there but you can see some work on the trim panels and again look at that and then go under the hood unfortunately this version doesn't come with a windshield I tried contacting Atlantis because their new kit says it comes with a windshield, but they said they were out of them and couldn't get a hold of one. But maybe in the future I can add one. Let's just pop this off so we can get some light in here. It does have a movable hood, kind of rare for the smaller scales, but there we did it in the factory colors, kind of a dark blue with the gold valve colors and air cleaners. And it's it's not overly detailed, but it certainly has enough to create some interest. That's for sure. I was pretty impressed with the way this guy came out and what it had to offer. And underneath, I didn't get real crazy, but just uh, did the gas tank and exhaust. Transmission, there's the bottom of our engine. And there it is. So uh, I think that'll wrap this little project up. Like I said, it was pretty fun. Much more than I was expecting out of a 132nd scale kit. And I look forward to trying out another one in the future. I guess I forgot to show off the figures. They're not much to look at, but give you guys a little closer look at them. Uh, here she is 
just gave her blonde hair and an orange scarf with her skirt white blouse and just some simple black shoes i did try doing um some like eyes or lipstick and just everything looks so well, i don't know made it look very creepy looking i guess is the best way very bug-eyed with your eyes so kind of went with the just a plain generic look and the gentleman is in a gray kind of a tuxedo with a shiny section there and a orange bow tie to match the woman and he's just got black shoes going on there um again they just look so bug-eyed trying to do their eyes so they looked more natural without any expression so with that we'll say thanks to you sean at the scale model car guy channel bg at bg's model workshop and all the viewers please like comment subscribe we'll see you next time